In Terror for the Tov, John Creasy crafts a gripping mystery that unfolds with the hallmark flair of his famed character, the Tov, whose real identity is Richard Rawlison. As a gentleman detective, the Toff operates in a world of both high society and criminal underworlds, using his social connections and sharp intellect to solve complex cases. The novel's plot revolves around Rollison becoming embroiled in a chilling scenario where a threat of terror haunts the streets, and he must unravel a series of deadly events to prevent further bloodshed. The narrative's central tension lies in the dualities that Creasy expertly weaves, class distinctions, personal and public responsibilities, and the fine line between legal justice and moral duty. Rollison, as the Toff, is particularly effective because he moves freely through various social strata. His role as a well-connected aristocrat contrasts sharply with the darker, dangerous world of crime he must infiltrate. The blend of his gentlemanly demeanor with an unyielding pursuit of truth creates a dynamic protagonist who is not easily rattled, even when terror strikes close to home. The theme of fear plays a prominent role in the novel, not just in terms of the physical dangers posed by the antagonists, but also the more insidious terror that permeates the community. Creasy taps into the anxiety of post-war Britain, where violence and upheaval have left psychological scars on the population. This fear is not only reflected in the novel's title but also in the atmosphere of the story, where the line between order and chaos feels tenuously maintained. The Toff's challenge is not just to apprehend criminals but to restore a sense of security to those living in constant fear of violence. The plot itself unfolds with Creasy's characteristic pacing, fast, full of twists, and marked by intricate relationships between characters. As Rollison delves deeper into the case, he uncovers a web of corruption and power plays that extend beyond mere criminal activity. The Toff's adversaries are often as clever as they are ruthless, and this makes the novel a battle of wits as much as physical confrontations. Creasy often juxtaposes the Toff's calm and collected nature with moments of intense danger, allowing for a tension-filled narrative that keeps the reader engaged. One of the novel's key strengths lies in its exploration of loyalty and trust. Rollison must rely on a range of allies, some from his upper-class circle and others from the more unsavory corners of society. His relationships with these individuals reveal much about his character, his ability to inspire loyalty through respect rather than fear. However, this also makes betrayal a constant threat. The theme of who can be trusted, and the consequences of misplaced trust, runs throughout the narrative, adding layers to the central mystery. Creasy's portrayal of the villainous forces in the novel is also noteworthy. Rather than presenting them as mere caricatures of evil, he often imbues them with complex motivations. They are driven by greed, ambition, or even a misguided sense of justice, making them more than just obstacles for the Toff to overcome. This depth adds a moral complexity to the story, as Rollison must navigate not only the dangers posed by his enemies but also the ethical dilemmas of his own actions. Terror for the Toff is ultimately a novel about resilience in the face of fear. Rollison's calm determination stands in stark contrast to the panic that grips those around him.